Bunny Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be Marshall Magic and Muscles chapters 2 and 3. So, um, last time I covered this manga, it was the first chapter, and this, this manga is just straight up Mob Psycho 100 meets One Punch Man. That's what this shit totally is to me. Anyway, let's get to this, uh, let's get to chapter 2 first and see what happens next. Ooh, and I love this cover page. It's gorgeous. So chapter two is titled, um, Mash Van Dead and the Mysterious Maze. Easton Magic Academy is a historic and prestigious school that has produced number, numerous pillars of the, mag of the magic realm. Of course, its entrance examination is notoriously difficult, and the one in charge of uh, running this exam and tasked with guiding the next generation of mages is none other than the supreme magus cum laude, uh, Claude Lucci. That's, that is me. Let's see here. Who do we have among this year's applicant, uh, um, applicants? We have a scion of um, the nobility, a son of the undersecretary of the Bureau of Magic, who has expected only the biggest movers and shakers of society are present. Ambitious youths such as themselves are proper candidates for um, a school as prestigious as ours. Polishing their wands and reviewing their spell books? That's the level of devotion I like to... What's this? Look <laughs> at Marsh. Excuse me. Excuse me, this is the entrance exam for um, for magic school. Why is he pumping iron? Um, does anyone else see this? Is it just me? Maybe I'm imagining it. A guy like that here? Preposterous. This is, a, a, is magic school, not clock college. <laughs> He's doing the invisible chair on one leg while reading a fitness book. Can you take this any less seriously? Uh, read a spell book at least. Consuming protein within 45 minutes of training to uh, replenish your body supply is basic knowledge, huh? Now he's talking to himself. And, um, who are those guys hiding behind him? It's like they're, uh, they're not even trying to be inconspicuous. Forget him. A slacker like that will make it past the first round. Are you certain this will work? You gotta trust me. I've got it all planned out. I made that scar indistinguishable from a real mark. Just sit back and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the ride. I wonder what the exam is like. Not that it matters. It doesn't matter what they throw at me. Greetings, examinees. Where'd that voice come from? I'll be overseeing this year's um, exam entrance examination. My name is Claude Lucci. The pleasure is all mine. Claude Lucci? He's ranked seventh in this year's top up becoming mages. Despite his youth, he's said to have mastered um, countless advanced spells. That's him? They're all respect. It feels so good. Yes! Praise me! Worship me! Attention to alert. <laughs> Um, you must think you're hot stuff appearing out of a firestorm and all. I'm gonna fuck off, fuck off. It's time for the first exam. Take your seats. Seats? Where are the chairs? What the heck? Desks are springing, uh, springing up like weeds. Hey, look up there. There's the exams. Um, wow, I've never seen magic like this. No wonder he's Easton Academy's, uh, wonder kind professor. Uh, why didn't he just set all, uh, all this up before we got here? I'll kill him! No matter, with a pass rate of 3%, there's no way a slacker like him will succeed. You have 30 minutes. Begin. The test paper... Uh, the questions are squirting all over the place! How are we supposed to answer this? I can't even read it! That's right, the questions themselves are easy, which is why I enchanted this test. What an ass. In order to pass, you'll first need to dispel my magic, get the questions to line, um, um, line up properly. He'll never pull this off. Why did I think this would work again? Could you kindly stop moving? Kindly stop moving. Uh-oh. What? Did he just... I finished. It's the slacker. I bet he just scribbled some random... What? He lined them up perfectly. From that point on, Mesh somehow found a way. He made that huge rock float. Um, look, he's... He made that huge rock float. Look, he's running on water to pass in each and every test. Mark, how is that slacker still in the running? I'm doing pretty good so far. Uh, that brutish oaf thinks he can make a mockery of me. I have to stop him. This is your ne next test. A ground shaking again. Oh, here's the maze. To pass, you must complete the maze. But this is no ordinary maze. Countless traps await you inside. You have 30 minutes. Reach the, uh, the goal by um, the time limit and, um, and you pass. Uh, now begin. Looks like a piece of cake. Um, could I possibly tag along with you? Why? And this is Lemon Irvine. Uh, well, you see, I thought it might be more efficient if we worked together. Makes sense. <laughs> Dude, I love that mark on his face. I fucking love it. I know it's fake, but I love it. I wonder what kind of traps they have waiting for us. Just thinking about it makes me nervous. What? What? He imps? Save me. Even the ground is trying to stop us. Don't leave me. Wait, please. Oh, no. Help me. me? No. Please wait up. Don't go on without me. Um, this is a, this is efficient? <laughs> Woo! I gotta hurry. Uh, Levios Compass. Why do you do that? I apologize for 
ever deceived you this whole time, but I have a very personal reason to keep you from that goal. I must stop you here. What's the reason? I just, I just said it was personal. So you fooled me. So you still human can break those bonds. Sorry, but I've got a personal reason of my own. Holy cats! Holy shit, that's awesome! Later, and I love the hook under Lemon's eye. It's awesome. This is bad. I have to catch him before he reaches uh, four legs in the morning. Huh? Two legs in the afternoon and three legs at night. Oh, that's easy. What am I? Man, duh. I don't think I'll like the answer. It's still just a test. I'll use my magic. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Answer my riddle. I'm so scared my legs won't move. This is really, really bad. I have to, I have to solve uh, the riddle. What was it again? Four legs in the morning, two um, at noon, three at night. It's so good. I can't concentrate. Um, time's up. Accept thy punishment. Someone help. The thing um, is right. This is my punishment for selfishly tricking people. Talk about the girl who cried wolf. I'm sorry, Mushroom Head. What are you? Sounds me. <laughs> Sounds me up if you ask me. Like, can't you just, this is something Saitama would say. This is something fucking Mom would say. Let's be real. This is fucking, this is just so fucking Mom and me Saitama. It's not even funny. Uh, why? Why did you come back for me? I thought your personal reason might be like mine. I felt bad for you. Dude, he's just a nice guy. But no, neither of us will make it, uh, make it in time. How do you think I got back here so fast, huh? Time is nearly up. Between all the traps, the Sphinx and the student I said to slow him down, there's no way he can, um, even he could succeed. Do you hear that noise? Sounds like something breaking. There's no way. These walls are one meter thick. Uh, thick. They're impervious to even the strongest magic. My balls! He just marched straight through! <laughs> that is something Zaitama would do, too! Holy shit! <laughs> what a, um, cunning, what a curious young man! Dude, this one, dude, like, this is some straight up St. Thomas shit. Let's be real. All right, let's get to chapter three. Oh, God, this is fucking St. Thomas. This is if St. Thomas was taking a magic test. Holy shit, that totally is. He just marched straight through. Um, Sounds like we made it. Hey, are they going to let that slide? Is that allowed? No uh, way that's fair, cheater. Gotta kind of be kidding! The rest of us did it properly. Go home. Um, go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. And chapter three is titled uh, "Mash Be Undead and the Deadly Doll." I wish I could. <laughs> it's not a maze if you could punch your way through it. Good point. Yeah, mazes are for getting lost in until you find the exit. I can't deny that. Wait, isn't that elaborate? That's just um, uh, pedantic. <laughs> go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Please stop this. He's not the one at fault. Don't you dare say another word and, and say, don't you dare say another word and you'll come to regret it. I can still reconsider our deal. The truth is, stop. I was told to prevent him from reaching the goal by Professor, Professor Lucci. He said he'd let me pass if I slowed that boy down. My family's poor. I was desperate to get into the school for them. But not only did that boy save me, he told me he'd marry me. I never said that. <laughs> you did. If you're too injured to walk, I could support you. Wait, support me? You mean like... But I'm sure it'd only be an um, a emotional burden to you. I don't think you'd be a physical th burden. Aw, don't be bashful. I know how you feel. And it's such a relief. Oh, yes, is it? Because I did say that. Hmm. So I set him up. What about it? This is my exam. Who says I can't fail students I don't like? That's true. You posit positively reek of commoner. You don't deserve to be here. This is a prestigious academy for the elite. We don't take in cheeky brats or paupers. The moment I saw your dingy robes, girl, I knew you were a charity case. I figured even the poor must have their uses, but look at how look at how you repay me. Um, this is some class warfare shit you're trying to start, Lucci. I swear to God. Did you inherit that dull mind of yours from your parents? If so, no wonder your family's struggling. I trust that I made the right call about you two, which is why I'm failing you both. Unless you wish to challenge the de decision of the Magus Cum Law Professor of Easton Magic Academy. That is, if you dare. <laughs> this is, again, this is something Saitama would do. Saitama would do the exact same thing. He would snap this motherfucker's wide in half. I'm so curious if the inspiration for this character was Saitama, because this is some fucking Saitama. He totally is. Huh? That was uncalled for, Professor. Did you see that? He, oh, man, he broke the guy's wand. Just went and snapped it. I feel kind of bad for the guy. 
Shut up! I don't have to listen to the likes of you. Silence! Hey, Master Wahlberg! Oh my god, it's Double... Uh, wait, Master Wahlberg? I was thinking it's Dumbledore, but... Holy shit! Is that... Is, is he, like, the grandpa of Mark and... Mark and, uh... Donnie Wahlberg? <laughs> that would be fucking awesome! Uh, we will move on to the final interviews. From this point on, I'm in charge of this examination. Headmaster, why are you here? Uh, Lucci, I wish to see you in my office after this. Ooh, busted! Now for the first interview. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be interesting. We will begin the final interview for Mash Van Dead. Thank you for having me. First, I wish to ask why you chose our school. So I can live in peace with my family. That's not an answer. Ask him to explain. That's sufficient. Next question. I hear you stopped to save a girl even though you were running out of time in the maze. Is that true? I guess so. Why? You were at risk of failing your exam. What made you do it? If I didn't, um, I think I would have regretted it. Regretted it. Aww. Oh, 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 you're the type who acts before our thinking, I see. <laughs> Did you consider that you might not be able to defeat the Sphinx or break the walls? Even if I couldn't, I still had to try. That's, like... This is such a Saitama and Mom answer. Totally is. Ho ho ho, a very amusing answer. But it shows you do not yet understand the ways of this world. There are many creatures in existence more powerful than you. When you find yourself facing them hopelessly outmatched, I wondered, will you take those same actions? What if you were to face... Whoa, shit! Ha! <laughs> I love this art! This art is fantastic. Someone like myself... Whoa! Wait, what? Dude, this is some fucked up shit right here. What immense magical power! The pressure is suffocating! Holy shit! Uh, what's this? This spell transfers the soul of the target's most cherished person into this doll. It's an ancient spell, and in this whole country, only I am able to cast it. Holy shit! Holy fucking Dumbledore, man! Dude! Dumbledore would never! Huh? Um, Gramps? What's up? Whoa, Gramps? Hey, no way! Hold on! Gramps! That's not all it does Where uh, I pl uh, to plant this knife in the doll. That soul will never return! Holy shit! This is some fucking sadistic shit here! Oh my god. Ho ho! Uh, ho ho ho! Did I not mention already? I'm immensely more powerful than you. I will slowly stab that doll with a knife, uh, knife, and in your current state, you cannot stop me. What will you do if I'm faced with this? Oh! I'm sure you can't keep this huge thing going forever. All I need to do is outlast you. <laughs> Holy shit! I don't know if Saitama would do the same thing. I think Saitama would have just punched it. <laughs> Power can be used to harm or, or to help. It all depends on the wielder. Uh, one of the principles of our academy um, is to foster the talents of first-rate mages. By doing so, we grant uh, great power unto them, which is why I like to put emphasis on a certain principle. Protect the weak and regulate the strong. Um... Uh, Noble is uh, uh, bl uh, obliged, and from what I've observed, you embody those qualities. My apologies, this was indeed a test. I had no intention of causing you harm. You don't need to apologize. Oh, yes, what is it? Regarding your question about what if I, uh, what if I do if I had to face, face you, my answer, Headmaster, is I knock the stuffing out of you in five fists! <laughs> magic nerd i love magic i'm a slytherin girl for crying out loud you have magic and then you have like mob slash saitama as the main character <laughs> like this shit is amazing oh this is a great combination i hope this one lasts i really do i think i might want this one to last more than undead unluck which is which is really saying a lot because i like undead a lot too anyway i'm very curious what you guys think let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like comment share and subscribe to nerdic and zinc if you love what i'm doing i want to help keep this channel alive so i can keep bringing you more Mar uh, marshley magic and muscles uh content there's a few ways you could do that you can donate to my paypal patreon go fund me purchase something on my amazon wish list all that's in the description box below also make sure you follow me on twitter twitch facebook friend me on playstation network that's in the description box below as well Till next time nerdigans i will be seeing you later bye